this is Kelsey Mauck, and this is my final project for MIT 812 Multimedia Applications for the Intercession 2015-2016. So what I did for my project was I developed a Google site that houses um, a bunch of things, including uh, all of the things I'd like to show you today. Um, I developed this for all of my Family Consumer Sciences classes, as you can see across the top here, um, the three classes that I'm teaching this semester. Uh, today I'll be focusing on our foods class, so students can either pick from this top bar or they can go down to one of their classes here um, to pick their favorite cl to pick the class that they're in. Before I move on, I just want to show you something I housed at the bottom of this uh, as kind of the option I use for my video editing site. I started to use memes a little bit in my classroom as a way to introduce introduce a new topic or uh, whatever it may be just to get kids laughing. So uh, this is the meme I created. There's a really nice um, meme creator that I posted the link to on that assignment on, on video editing. And this is the meme that I created that I think is kind of funny and really uh, meets the objectives that I was trying to meet, uh, speaks to the objectives that I was trying to meet. Um, so the objectives of making this Google site was to organize all of my classroom materials in one place, um, to create a standardized system where students can access the curriculum from home when they're absent. Uh, I feel like I'm spending most of my day every day getting kids caught up when they're gone. And I also wanted to develop a place where students can check in with me and each other throughout the semester. Uh, so this uh, kind of speaks to the objective that I was trying to meet. So uh, if we go into this foods class here, I will show you kind of how my class has been set up this quarter. Uh, the audience for this class is 9th through 12th graders who are taking a foods, nutrition, and wellness class. They uh, receive wellness credits for this class, and so they learn a lot about nutrition, but they also get to introduce themselves to our foods classes that are available to them at Rocky Mountain High School. This is kind of the introductory one before they move into their career prep. Uh, so I did make a pow tune. It sort of introduces the class and how the class is going to be formatted. Uh, for my students, I'll just skip ahead here so you can kind of see a little bit about the video without having to watch the whole thing. Um, but just kind of explains how things are graded, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Gets everyone on the same page right away. Uh, so the other things on this uh, front page of the foods is um, that video. Also, some just some Google Docs that they may need access to throughout the semester, a lab makeup form, syllabus, copies of notes that they may need, and also uh, some portfolio pages. It's um, an assignment they need to do for the class, pre-existing assignment, um, but it's nice to have it all in one place. Here's the link to the, uh, Google Slides that they may need if they uh, missed class. So when they get back to this foods um, main site, every day I've asked students to log on to this daily agenda or learning targets Google Doc that I created. Uh, it's a running Google Doc that I used um, to house all of the learning targets for the day, the daily agenda, and also what's due. As you can see, I just uh, every day add something to the top of a document but leave everything else. So in case a student was gone, they can just say, okay, so I was gone on January 7th. Here's what we were trying to accomplish, and here's what we did, here's what's due. It also allows me, um, as opposed to using Word doc, to really link things from one Google Doc to another Google Doc so that students can just go see, hey, I missed the day, I don't know what the assignment is, and now I can pull it up on a Google Doc, which I think is kind of nice for them and definitely nice for me so I'm not wasting so many copies printing the same thing over and over. You're all teachers. You understand that uh, and the frustration that goes with that. With that. Um, so within um, the daily agenda every day, the students have been trained to do a daily check-in as soon as they get there. I've made a Google form every day. I've gotten pretty fast at it. I've used different um, options within there, but most of them are pretty basic. Uh, what's your name so that I can collect data on them and give them points for completing it. Uh, this day, for example, I was just trying to figure out who would be in whose foods groups and uh, seeing what students preferred. Then they submit this and it shows up uh, for me in a folder on my Google Drive. I converted everything in my classes um, from our file server at school onto this Google Drive. So for example, when students answered that question, it just goes into my foods, nutrition, and wellness um, place. The reason I like using uh, Google Drive, which I had never really used before, is that I can access it from home 
and also everything is housed in one place without me having to shuffle it back and forth from the server to online or whatever it may be. Here you can see all my daily check-ins and uh, the data that I get from them from the students. Uh, this was just some formative assessment questions I asked. List three rules for keeping yourself safe when using knives. What's the name of a knife you might typically use? Uh, and then also just trying to uh, do a little KWL on um, the type of lab that we were going to be completing. So I have that all um, for all of these days and I'm giving them points for that. I've really liked using Google Forms. I think they're really convenient, really quick way to formative assess and that's been a struggle for me as a new teacher, how I'm going to continue to assess students um, just uh, throughout the lesson and throughout the unit. Um, and that's kind of that. Uh, I also um, put a link to anything that we might be doing that day, like I said, these Google Docs. But also um, I made some um, adjustments from PowerPoint to Google Slides. So this way uh, some of these are still in PowerPoint like this one. Um, but I did switch to Google Slides on a few things and I've really enjoyed that as well uh, just using a way that I can present online. Students can also follow along with me while I'm talking which they seem to really enjoy uh, where they can maybe make a copy of the document up here under file sorry it's loading file make a copy and then the students can type straight into the Google Slides without having to download or take notes on every single thing um, so yeah, that's my Google site. I will put a link to the Google site so you can come check it out. I believe I have it open so that you don't have to have a PSD, which is my school district domain name, in order to access that. If you can't access, access that, just shoot me an email. I'm happy to give you access. Uh, I really appreciate everything I've learned in this class. I certainly am not an expert at this point, but I'm starting to feel like I'm now swimming instead of just keeping my head above water on this technology stuff. And I'm really proud of everything that I did and I appreciate the opportunity to work with all of you uh, this semester and hope we get to do some more of that soon. Thanks and uh, have a great second semester here.